post winter footage. I posted a great video yesterday about Malus Darkblade and a few subscribers said it's sad that you don't have snow in good old Scandinavia at this time of year. But I talked to my man Ymer the Frost Giant, Ymer the primordial giant of Norse mythology and uh, I said you know what my subscribers have requested this and he said you know what since you have done your deadlifts I will I will grant you this wish so behold behind you behind me a good winter landscape and uh, then I thought I will title this video White Friday now I'll be completely honest with everyone, I don't disavow Black Friday, I don't completely disavow consumerism. Instead of saying coomer, you can say consumer. Of course there has to be a limit to everything, I don't think it's good to consume just for the sake of it, but I would be a hypocrite otherwise because I have, not this year but last year I bought some camera and uh, audio equipment. Um, on Black Friday, so I just want to be honest and not be all sanctimonious and uh, be holier than thou. Um, also, White Friday, Black Friday, we have uh, two new releases for Legio Gloria. Never discounts on Legio Gloria, though, because I want to have something completely different for Legio Gloria. The ultimate point to purchase something from Legio Gloria is if you have earned it. So it warms my heart to hear, you know, emails saying, you know what, I've been training hard for six months, now I've given up this vice or that vice and I feel worthy finally. And then you ask for, okay, what is a good size for my measurements, etc. And that's also something I want to be ultra clear with. The perfect opportunity to buy Legio Gloria is when you feel ready. Uh, so that is what I want to do, because this is a pirate ship. I'm the captain and I only want worthy crew to, uh, to be on this metaphysical pirate ship. So that is, um, are the rules for wearing Legio Gloria, that you are worthy. So you must overcome yourself, otherwise you, you are not allowed to wear it. So you can't watch porn, you can't go out getting drunk, you can't be addicted to marijuana, you can't be out of shape, you need to train something on a regular basis. Now of course what you train is up to you as long as you stay fit and healthy and can represent the brand in a good way. Uh, so that is what is up. So uh, yeah, new uh, hoodie right here. Uh, a bit of a different cut, I always experiment with, uh, with um, new garments, new designs, so if you see the difference from the Perseus hoodie is that this goes up a bit here. So it's um, Comfier and cozier for winter. I'm super happy with this garment and Legi Gloria here in in silver. So uh, yeah, if you think I look aesthetic, that's the reason. So yeah, that is the main point I wanted to say today. Then of course, since I am in a forest of enlightenment, I might as well ramble on a bit more. It's a bit harder to walk now, I must admit to everyone. So I saw a comment also yesterday about are you still gaming even as a father? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, and this is something I may will make a separate video on later on. You have to have downtime, you have to have breaks, especially, especially if you're also caring for a small child. You have to check out zone out sometimes and just focus on something completely different and after all it's entertainment it's the same thing if, if you watch on sports ball or if you listen to some music uh, so don't think uh, this is propaganda from vicious forces that say oh you know what when you have children and when you're married then you can't do any fun things anymore then you must just do fatherly duties all the time now of course you have to do a lot of more things, but uh, it's simply not true that you can't do other things as well. It's uh, complete lies. It's complete propaganda from people who don't want you to have children. So don't neglect your mates, don't neglect your training, don't neglect your own interest. Then of course it's also a matter of 
priorities. You can't spend eight hours a day playing video games, of course not, but you can at least spend an hour every once in a while um, to just have a meditative moment for yourself. So that is something that I find uh, very important to point out, both to fathers, so you don't feel bad because you do something you like, because you need to take care of yourself in order to take care of others. Uh, simple as that. Otherwise you will be perhaps not as pleasant to deal with if you feel trapped or if you feel that you can't do things you like. So keep that in mind. Uh, you need to take care of yourself to take care of others. You can quote me on that. You can put a quote at your workplace or at your school. And then people will say, oh, who is this wise man? And then you will say, oh, it's it's a wizard from Lord of the Rings. It goes around in forests and uh, spreads wisdom. Um, could be a fun thing to do. So anyway, I don't know how long the snow will stay here in good old Scandinavia. Will probably melt, but um, in a few days. Who knows? Otherwise, I will continue to make some snow videos. I have, um, yeah, a good few videos upcoming. I just thought to make this video today because, yeah, it was a fun uh, occurrence that we would have some snow. So, anyway, on to the next clip. I will add some more top quality content to this fine video log before I end it. Now, another note on Ymir, the primordial Norse giant. I will make more videos on Norse mythology, actually, because it's inspiring. Now, some guys ask, will you do more strongman, etc. But I will be completely honest with myself and with you. I don't have the genetic potential to be a strongman, because I am I'm muscular and I am, well, somewhat physically big, uh, but I'm not a big guy for you uh, in terms of being a literal giant. So if you look upon strongmen, they're overall big guys. I am athletic and muscular, and my particular athletic talents are more suited to perhaps martial arts. So then it's better for me to invest time in, well, leveling my martial arts game instead of trying to become a strongman since I don't have the genetic potential for it. So yeah, as I talked about before in terms of in terms of what you can your mythological or fantasy um, thing you can be and I, if I'm an elf Elves aren't really good at strongmen, whereas giants, of course, Ymir, for example, are. Uh, so if you look upon good strongmen, they are built in a certain way. It takes certain genetics to be a strongman. So that's why I don't really... Yeah, I don't want to go... Never want to go that uh, route, because it's, uh, it's pointless. Then, of course, it's fun to train strongmen. So I'm not saying that, oh, you need to be a genetical giant to... Um, to train strongman, but keep that in mind. Sometimes your genetics are more suited to one thing rather than another. Um, so yeah, that's why I don't really continue, never continued strongman, despite my glorious triumphs in, uh, in terms of those things. Then of course, I'm not gonna sell myself short here. I am yeah, of course, strong in um, in a lot of ways too, but um, yeah, not not that strong. Now, on a completely different note, I stumbled upon Okay, not sure it looked as aesthetic on camera as it did just stumbling upon it. But anyway, I will put in one other clip in this great video log. So, uh, yeah, see you in the next sequence. Speaking of giants, there is a giantess 
Skadi, a goddess of sorts of winter. And apparently she was a bit jealous that I had done deadlifts in honor of Ymir, the primordial giant. So she said if you want a crisp and clean winter so you can take epic pictures and make good videos, you have to do four sets of six repetitions at 180 kg in the squats. So naturally I want to ensure an aesthetic winter for everyone, so I did just that in the Temple of Iron. So, that being said, I wish you all a prosperous weekend ahead. XOXO, boom.